Hi Libra, it's L here to do your present energy. I guess April, late April, going into May. Um, the present energy for your sign. I have two spreads that I did. Uh, one for love, one for career. Um, I guess we'll jump right into it. Uh, thank you to those who support, who comment, who have requested personal readings. Um, who like, share, and subscribe. So, thank you guys. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, I guess we'll start with love, right? So, the bottom of the deck for the love reading is the High Priestess. Nice. This could be almost anything. I'll just start naming stuff. And you just get in where you fit in. Um, you could be a very spiritually inclined person. There could be things that you know about a particular relationship in regards to love. This could be platonic. This could be romantic. Uh, that the, maybe the other party isn't aware of. Uh, maybe there's an inner knowing of, of what the relationship really is and what it means. Maybe there's a knowing that someone will return or someone will leave or there's just, um, there are Libras, the, the ones I'm speaking to, who are just um, really spiritually inclined. Uh, yes, we all live on the physical plane on this earth, but some of us um, are more spi spiritually in tune um, intact you know spiritually there's also great intuition here um, listen to your intuition in regards to the high priestess talks about the twos the twos are decisions um, um, the two of wands, the two of swords, the two, um, two of pentacles, two of uh, cups. Um, so there's a decision to be made. Uh, intuitively and instinctually, the, the Libra knows which way to go. So let's see what this is all about. The emperor, okay. The three of cups. The nine of cups, okay. And justice. Nice. Okay, Libra. So, back to all of the stuff I just named. Somebody knows that maybe this is a destined union between someone. There might be a Libra and a particular person who are apart from each other the mutual energy may be that both of you feel as if each other is or can be wish fulfillment for each other in some dynamic this could be an older gentleman a husband maybe you're apart from or someone you want to marry someone with great prestige and respect regard honor okay so this is a situation for the labor okay so we get the high priestess the emperor the three of cups the nine of cups and justice we're talking about love and romance for the Libra so there may be a Libra here who there's like two stories maybe even three there's a Libra man here who may be a business owner a lot of Libras are uh, lawyers or judges this this man is committed he's got commitments not just in career and finance but he may be uh, a married man or a committed man. He may have some secret woman here with the high priestess and the three of cups. 
some secret connection. Um, he looks at this person favorably. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could be anybody. Uh, it could be a Pisces in particular, Aquarius. Um, this Libra man, he hasn't made commitment to this other person person of course he can't because he's already committed but this other person is wish fulfillment for him there might be an air of separation to these this Libra man and the other woman they don't either they don't live close to each other there's an air of separation so there's a longing for a wish to have this person uh, every day in a relationship maybe the ten of cups the Libra also has a conscience and it and is maybe feeling guilty in regards to double life and is trying to bring balance back to this situation um, a, a peaceful resolution could even be contemplating divorce or separation or, or wanting to give an apology to those he is uh, obligated to. Children, the wife, maybe even the, the side person, the outside person. Now for my Libra woman, there might be a man that you are committed to or were committed to in the past an older gentleman who wants to reconcile with you who views the relationship you as just the ultimate and the highest level of you know you're the perfect person for them they want to come and give you apology or right the wrongs they did something wrong maybe something legal to you or an injustice they took something from you or they did something or it was a money situation or something of that nature uh, but there is a, a particular person who wants to come to Libra and give give actual physical gift or apology emotions are running high with this person also there's another story Libra woman you know that you could be the outside party to somebody who's already obligated and uh, married to uh, you may be engaging in this third party situation you hope and wish or you may have been you know promise that uh, this person is going to get a divorce or they're going to you know even the score or make things more equal with you this man might not be married on paper but he, there's lots of obligation in his life there are a lot of women he's obligated. Some of you are dealing with somebody who has a lot of the, what I call the modern day polygamy, uh, baby mama drama. Some of you are dealing with that. But we're going to clarify over at the website. So w one of those, what, three or four situations may be your situation. The only thing I don't see here, but that's because I haven't pulled more cards, is um, an offer. Lots of emotion. Emotions run high. You or the other person looks at you very favorably, but there's no offer. So anyhow, let's jump into career and finance. So at the bottom of the deck for career and finance, we have the Eight of Air, or Eight of Swords. So the Libra feels as if they can't or they don't see a way out of something. This may be where the Libra needs to reduce the energy to the Seven of Swords. 
and start to either revise plans, make a plan of action. But the Seven of Swords didn't just talk about deception and lies and all of those things. Sometimes it just talks about you need to plan. Uh, and one deck, I think it's in the Druid Craft, this one. The, the man is actually sitting at a desk and he's writing with a heavy heart, heavy mind, writing out his plan. So for some of you, if you feel stuck, tied to, bound to, feel as if you're on the merry-go-round, the, the roundabout with a situation, the only way you get out of it is to reduce that energy to, let me make a plan of action of how I am going to get out of, okay? So this is career and finance. Let's see what we got. Yeah, ten of fire. Something is lots of obligation, lots of burden. You've carried this for a while. Uh, let's see. Page of water. May have something to do with children or just a younger energy. You may get some insight, like aha moment in regards to what to do about the situation. Ten of earth. May have something to do, yeah family strength okay so this is a Libra who is trying to allow an ending of a cycle but is is not seeing um who can't foresee the ending it they feel as if I'm stuck I mean I'm, I'm on this merry-go-round and I can't get off this situation has been very taxing maybe even monetarily this could be a family business or something you do with family um there could be a younger energy involved here this could be a lever who you, there's a family business but then there's also family business like I don't see how I'll ever be able to depart from the business of maybe a child of always caring for a child or I don't see how I can do what I want necessarily in my life and my career and my finance without making plans that seven of swords for my family and a particular child. Example, there may be some leavers who want to travel. Or want to take a job where they travel. And it's like, well, yeah, I can take this job. But what about my home? I have maybe a younger, irresponsible energy within my home i can't just leave my home or i have a child grandchild who i'm concerned about you need to have the strength labor to put some things in place right back to you feeling stuck and tied but you need to make a plan of action this is what's going to happen uh i am the captain of this ship these are the rules you don't like it. You got to get off the ship. You can't keep carrying the burden of carrying the burden of a particular person. Career, business, something may be taxing or was taxing financially, um, even energetically. Libra needs to muster up the strength to tame this situation okay so for some of you business is uh, there might be some unexpected money it brings about some really good energy um, unexpected money but it goes right back out unexpected money or good luck you, you got to pay. There's a payout. Something about a child or children.
you've got to have a strength to put something in perspective. If you don't, then you stay on the merry-go-round. Some of you may need to change policy in your business. We're going to clarify over at the website. Um, Libra, if this is resonating with you for you, go ahead and click the link below. It's always $2 to get um, additional clarity, especially if you feel like it's resonating and you're not at a place where you can um, purchase your own personal reading. $2 gets you a bit more clarity. We're going to see what the love situation is about, what the career and finance is about. Um, Libra, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Share this. Subscribe to the channel. If you can't you know, contribute monetarily, do what's free. Like the post. Um, subscribe to the channel. Libra, know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care, guys.